just lightly stretched out so that the air can hit every surface of that flesh side. And if you really want to speed things up, you can put a fan on it. I'm going the primitive technology route. I've got some long willow poles here that I cut and we'll bend them into hoops and string them up. All we do here, bend this willow into a hoop shape. Doesn't gotta be a perfect circle, just needs to be a hoop. Take that bark we just procured. Use the bark to lash it together into a hoop. There we go. It's just gonna be strung up right in the center like this. With the stone flake, I'm gonna chip a fine point on this end so I can puncture some holes in the hide. This little burr should do nicely. We're gonna put a hole anywhere that's sticking out a lot. Like right here where the back legs were. I'll do one in the corners here. And just work my way around the hide. So let's get it strung up. So we'll start at the top of the hide. Tie that string off to the frame. Come over from behind and in through the pelt side. Start it off loose, because you can tighten it all later. Once it's all strung up, we'll adjust the tension on the whole thing. Almost done here. We got this all tied up, but it's super loose, so we're gonna take a minute and even out the tension. Undo your first tie. With that undone, just gonna leave that hanging. Here's where we started, here's where we ended. We're gonna pull tension from where we ended and work our way backwards, just like this. That tightness helps everything dry very fast without wrinkles. You don't need it crazy tight, just get it taut. You know, pull the slack out of it. And already our fur's looking a lot better. Tie that off. That's gonna shrink up as it dries. We'll leave the summer really warm with good airflow. Right now, that's just outside in the shade. Don't put it in the sun. Too much sun can damage the hide. Breezy spot in the shade should do just fine. Anyway, that's the first step to hide tanning. Be sure to stick around so you can see how this becomes this. Thanks for watching.